This is the Iron Trader. It is hump day. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of charts. Uh, first is going to be John Deere and the second will be Caterpillar. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock commodity ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, first of all, here we have John Deere. You have your daily, your weekly, and your monthly chart. Now, uh, they had a really good run, came right on up here, but you notice that it just could not get above and close above that 448.40. Then you put in a uh, lower high, then you came right on down. But it held this 200 SMA here, and you put a nice double bottom. But as it ran up here, you look at it, what it did, it ran right into that 100 SMA here, now sitting at 419.33, and you put in a topping tail. Now, we had a big sell-off. See this big-ass red candle? And you lost all these days of gains. That's really never uh, good. So what we have to do now is let's just look at the support levels. So we want to look here at this uh, 200 SMA here on your daily. That's at 384.08. Um, your retest here is uh, going to be uh, 381.39. Then what we do is we want to look here at this 50 SMA here at uh, 380.16 and your 21 here on your monthly chart. That's sitting at uh, 375.76. Those would be all be your support levels. If this 21 day is lost, you can see how this came right on down. Then we'd be looking here for this 50 SMA here on the monthly chart at 285.15. Now, let's look on the upside. What it needs to do is you need to get back over this 8 SMA here, the 21, the 50. Then you got a shot back here at the 100 SMA. So these are all going to be your resistant levels. You got 461. You got uh, 478, and then you got 410.55. Those are going to be all your resistant levels. Uh, and if they break, then you have a shot here at the uh, 100 SMA here on your daily chart. Uh, right now, uh, when it takes a red candle like this, it takes out all those days. Uh, I would wait until it has like holds uh, support levels here. Uh, and if it does hold the support levels, then you can take a, a uh, you know, a trade going on long. Once you can see where uh, it would actually hold, you just don't want to be guessing. All right, here we have Caterpillar. Uh, pretty much same chart. So your daily, your weekly, your monthly chart. It did pretty much the same uh, thing. So what it did is you put a high in here, you put a, a lower high, and then you put in a nice double bottom again against the 200-day. Nice bottom here, went up, Retested, put a higher low, and then boom, right there. See, a topping tail. And then you put the big-ass red candle in again, and you lost all those days of gain. So I would do the exact same thing as you did with the deer. I would wait until I would look at this support at 212.60. I would look at this uh, retest at 211.43. And I would look at 213. Uh, for your support here on your weekly chart, that's the 50-day. And then I would look at this 21 SMA here, sitting at uh, 209.60. That's on your monthly chart. If that is lost, the target is going to be this 50 uh, SMA here. That would be at 178.71. Uh, so if you want to trade this, I would wait till it comes down to support. If it holds, then you can take a shot long. Uh, but just watch them key levels here, especially these 200 days and that retest here, because this could go lower just as easy as it could go higher. So on the upside, watch this uh, 8 SMA here sitting at 222.36, the 21 sitting at uh, 225.13. Then you have a shot here to go to your 100 SMA here uh, at 238.77. So just take one level at a time. To me, I would wait until this would actually hold support, put it in the lower high, a red dog, something that tells you that the selling is done. Thanks for watching.